In fungal infections, it's more seen in extreme preterm babies with central line access and repeated courses of antibiotics leading to fungal colonization. Candida species is a common cause. Very rarely there is aspergillus species involved. There's involvement of the kidneys with fungal ball and eyes are involved as well. So fluconazole prophylaxis, nystatin prophylaxis is considered in units with a high incidence of fungal sepsis, though not everyone takes it up and it's a local unit-based policy. Uh, where there is a low incidence of fungal infection, uh, there is still the high mortality because it's a serious infection. Amphotericin B works against fungal sepsis and uh, in babies with the risk of nephrotoxicity, we may use the ambisome, which is the liposomal uh, amphotericin formulation to treat fungal sepsis. Quick run through of viral infections. So CMV is congenital or acquired. Parvovirus may present with severe bone marrow suppression, anemia, and high drops. Adenovirus leads to congenital pneumonia. Enterovirus is a common cause of aseptic meningitis. High fever is typically seen in enteroviral infections, and baby may be very irritable because of the aseptic meningitis. Uh, Coxsackie virus can present sepsis-like presentation or myocarditis. And varicella zoster or chickenpox maternal infection a week before or after delivery puts the baby at very high risk of a sepsis-like presentation. So uh, you will consider varicella zoster immunoglobulin in this setup. Herpes simplex type 2 is a commoner cause and the risk to the baby is very high with primary infection. Polio, of course, is very rare with it.